Hey guys, it's Ben from Curries, and today we're having a look at the Xbox Elite Series 2 wireless controller and three features that can help you level up your XP. We're going to have a look at the paddles and hair trigger locks, the customizable profile to switch between your favorite games, and the adjustable tension and interchangeable thumbsticks. So I'm going to head to the test lab where I'm going to be joined by Microsoft evangelist Tom Mosley. Let's jump straight in. Tom, welcome to the test lab. What do you think? I'm pretty impressed, but I am jealous of uh, the screen playing Halo at the moment, so I think we should jump in. So we've got the Xbox Series X set up along with the Xbox Elite Series 2 wireless controller. It's impressive, right? No, I love the look <laughs> of it. And when I pick it up, the first thing obviously that I notice are these paddles. It's generally the first thing people notice when they, uh, when they pick up a, a Series 2 controller. Especially in the world of Halo Infinite, it's all around maneuverability, outflanking your enemies, all those bits and pieces. So the advantage of the paddles is you can remap any of the buttons that you've got on your controller to those paddles. Okay. So what we've done in this example is we've put jump, crouch, reload and change weapon on those paddles. I want you to give it a go and see how you feel and how it compares to what you're used to. So I'm going to sprint through. So what it enables you to do mm. is be able to outmaneuver your enemies. So if you're in a firefight, you can get out super quickly and you can still look where you want to go and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's yeah, super useful. The, I mean, the main thing that I'm noticing is that normally if I have to do anything that involves jumping, crouching, reloading, switching weapons, my aim goes, it just stops. Yeah. And so I, c I can no longer tell what's happening around mm -hmm. me where it's really nice that I can, I still have control of my field of view as well as use all the buttons that I need to use at the same time. So the paddles have given me extra maneuverability. That they have. Let's talk about the hair trigger locks and what they're doing for me. So when you compare it to a standard controller, if you were to fire a weapon in, such an, in Halo Infinite, you have to fully depress that trigger. Now, if you actually activate the hair trigger lock just on the back, you have three different levels so you can customize it. If you try and shoot three clips now, you're going to be considerably faster. Ooh. You can see a difference already, right? Yeah, because I'm physically having to move my fingers less so I can yeah. get the shots off way It becomes quicker. more of a button than a trigger, which I think is really, really cool. I've just unloaded three clips with the head trigger lock off, three with it on. Yes. So let's compare the times together. We'll throw it to Dave, he can cut it together and we can see <laughs> what the timing yeah. difference is. So we've got the hair trigger lock on full on the right hand side and completely off on the left. Yeah. The difference in speed is about 10 frames, so like half a second, which is a small but really important difference. And half a second can make all the difference in a firefight. When you're playing first person shooter games, like that can be the difference between winning or losing. So yeah, super important. Next, let's talk about the customizable profiles. Now the controller itself can hold three profiles yep. plus the default, but yes. it doesn't stop there, right? No, so within the Xbox accessory app on the console, you can have up to 250 separate profiles depending on different games, different game modes, friends and family playing as well. I'm not limited to just mapping it to gameplay buttons, right? So if you go to any of these sections within the uh, remapping area, you can go to the primary one and then go to the action section. So that's launching application, playing or pausing media or taking a screenshot. So you can control your whole console. And it's not just available for console, obviously it's Windows PC as well. Yeah. And it's great for programmers, but also really brilliant for meeting accessibility needs too. Yes, yeah, so if you have got accessibility needs, you can move the buttons that you need to the areas that you can actually access them. Lastly, let's have a look at the adjustable tension and interchangeable thumbsticks. So within the case, you get the key, which allows you to adjust the tension on the thumbsticks. All you need to do is take off the interchangeable thumbsticks yep. and you get in four additional thumbsticks with it as well, included within the case. Yeah, so it allows you to kind of personalize the controller to you. It's your controller after all. What we've really tried to do is think about everything to allow you to level up your gameplay when using the Elite Series 2. So if you'd like to find out more about the Xbox Elite Series 2 wireless controller, you can visit us in-store, online, or chat to one of our tech experts on a Shoplight video call.